Hello friends, today we are going to learn very important and interesting play which is written by William Shakespeare. The title of the play is A Midsummer Night's Dream. It is a comedy play which is written between 1595 to 96 and it projects aristocratic wedding. Here before we start the story let me tell you that there are two parallel worlds which are happening continuously. First world is of human being and another world is of fairies. Here, there are two stories which are going simultaneously in the play. Okay? First, we will discuss about human world and then we will move towards fairy's world. Okay? So, let us start. The play starts with Thesus and Hippolyta. Thesus is Duke of Athens, very powerful and uh, Hippolyta is Queen of Amazon. She is also as powerful as Duke Thesus. He represents, Duke of Thesis represents power and order. Okay. And uh, both of them, Duke of Athens and Queen of Amazon, both are engaged and within four days their marriage is going to occur. Hippolyta was won by Thesis in a battle. Therefore, their relationship is not much cordial. Okay. When they were discussing about marriage, Aegeus appears. Aegeus is father of Hermia and uh, Hermia loved by Lysander and Dermetrius. Whereas Hermia loves only Lysander and wants to marry him. Aegeus is against this knot. He wants Dermetrius to be his son-in-law. Lysander argues that he is more capable than Demetrius but he tells his daughter that she must marry Demetrius or she will be murdered. Now Duke also supports Aegeus say, uh, saying and he says about the rule of Athens. According to the rule of Athens, girls should marry their father's choice. Now here father's choice was Demetrius but four the options were given by Duke and those were either to get married to Demetrius or she must die. Another option is she sh should be a nun in nunnery. These are the three options that uh, was given by the Duke and he says that within four days that is till their marriage like marriage of Hippolyta and Thesis. Okay, she should decide. Lysander was utterly upset because he tried to convince but he failed. Now he was left with no other option than leaving Athens and marrying Hermia. He makes a plan that he will leave Athens at night and he will go to widow aunt who stays outside Athens. Hermia and Lysander both of them were discussing about their plan. At that point of time Helena, Hermia's old friend appears. Hermia Helena asks Hermia that how she won Demetrius' heart. Here, Hermia reveals that she loves Lysander and they will escape from Athens that very night. She thinks Demetrius will be hers if she will reveal the plan of Lysander and Hermia. But Demetrius wants to follow both the lovers and get back Hermia at any cost. He does not love Helena at all. Helena tries to stop him and runs after Demetrius in the forest. On the other hand, we find for the wedding of Duke and Queen, Peter Quince, he were, who was a carpenter by profession, he decided to direct a play. Okay, He was reading a play and uh, it was for Thesis' wedding. And he had a group of actors. But they were not good. They were amateur actors. They were not refined. Their acting was horrible. Okay. And the name of the play which they decided to perform was Pyramus and Thisbe. Okay. And here the main character was Nick Bottom. Don't get confused friends. Here we find play within a play. Okay. Pyramus and Thisbe is the name of the play which Carpenter wanted to perform on the wedding day of Duke and Queen. Here Nick Bottom was to play the role of Pyramus but this Nick was overconfident. 
and there was another man who was given the role of thisbe female lead role okay but it was not uh, she was he was not doing it willingly it was forceful approach therefore he got irritated he said that he is going to spoil the play by not pronouncing the dialogues properly he said that he will pronounce the the dialogues in a uproarious manner let's find out other actors of that play okay robin starveling had to play role of thisbe's mother then tom snout will be playing pymeras father and snug will become a lion in the play okay this drama group decided to rehearse in the forest this is the same forest where lysander and hermia decided to meet and leave for leave from athens okay after that we are taken to another world that is the fairies world see these these things are happening in real world human world and these things are happening in fairy world okay where oberon is the queen king and titania is the queen okay here there is another mischievous character his name is puck his real name is robin good fellow okay he is jester of oberon the king of fairy world okay he used to make oberon happy puck used to make oberon happy with his uh, actings with his jokes etc okay now oberon is angry at titania his queen because titania was not nurturing a indian an indian boy and oberon wanted this boy which titania refused he wanted to take revenge now he wanted oberon wanted to take revenge upon titania for this act he instructs puck to get love in idleness plant okay this love in idleness plant is very important for him because if few drops of love in idleness put into the eyes of a person or anyone he or she will start loving the person whom he or she will see after opening their eyes okay the first person whom they will see after opening their eyes they will start loving them wholeheartedly that was the importance of love in idleness flowers potion or juice okay so this was the plant which oberon asked puck to get for him forest oberon was able to see helena pleading for love to dermetrius he became very sad for her and he also saw that dermetrius warned her that he will hurt her if she continues following him in the forest looking at that oberon feels very pity on helena and instructs puck to put potion or juice of love of illness okay love in idleness into dermetrius eyes so that dermetrius will start loving helena but let's see what happens puck goes out puck goes out to find dermetrius and put the juice here titania and her fairies comes to the same place and sleeps where oberon was right now now titania and her fairies comes and sleeps at that place now oberon who wanted to teach her lesson for not giving indian boy puts that potion into her eyes he puts oberon the king of fairy land puts two drops of love in idleness juice into the eyes of titania now whomever she will see after opening her eyes at first she will be in love with him on the other hand we see lysander and hermia were lost in the forest they wanted to rest in titania's house here puck who was instructed to put that potion into the eyes of dermetrius thinks that it was dermetrius who has come to their house okay and he puts the juice into his eyes but it was not dermetrius it was lysander when helena wakes up lysander see by uh, there we find helena was lost in the forest too when she finds lysander sleeping out there he she wakes him up now lysander becomes mad about helena because of the effect of the plants juice okay helena now lysander starts chasing helena for love he becomes totally mad about her and helena believes that he was teasing her because couple of minutes ago he was um in love with hermia how come within minutes he changed okay thinking that 
she runs away from that place now on the other hand hermia wakes up because of a nightmare what was the nightmare she saw that her heart is eaten by a serpent she wanted to tell it to lysander but she did not find him nearby she does not find lysander around and she starts searching for him in the forest now again we move to another scene on the other hand we find peter quinn's play group camps nearby titania's house for rehearsal okay the play was pyramus and thisbe puck watches the play and horrible acting of nick bottom he gets so much irritated and he changes the head of nick bottom bottom to that of a donkey now nick was unaware that there is change in his appearance he was totally unaware and he comes out from the bushes to deliver his dialogue but all other actors runs away out of fear now nick bottom chases them because he is totally unaware okay he wanted to find out what is wrong with them in that pursuit he meets with titania and when she opens her eyes she sees nick bottom and she fell in love with him now on the other hand we find hermia finds demetrius and thinks he has harmed lysander to marry her later on puck realizes his mistake and tells oberon that he had mistaken lysander for demetrius and then he rectifies his mistake now demetrius was given two drops of that potion in order to make him enchanted towards helena now lysander and demetrius both of them started loving helena now on the other hermia was not able to understand how lysander is totally changed overnight she thinks lysander never loved her and uh, she thinks that it was because of her short height she thinks helena because of her tall height was able to enchant lysander as well as demetrius but that was not true she was unaware with that now demetrius and lysander fights for helena oberon who was able to see all these chaotic situation tells puck to blur the vision with fog all tries to find their lovers but because of this dense fog they were not able to find each other and then they sleep in the forest that night during their sleep the magic was reverted back magic they were made to forget everything then helena and demetrius loved each other here oberon comes to titania's place and finds her in love with nick bottom he could not see his queen with a donkey so reverted the magic and normalized her as well now here we find titania who was unaware about this magical spell she magical plant spell she says that she says oberon that she dreamt that she was in love with a donkey oberon orders puck to normalize nick bottom as well now here we find oberon had already got indian boy therefore there was no problem with titania therefore he asks titania to end fight with him and she also agrees and both of them they dance together and everything was okay between them now both of them had duty to bless thesis and hippolyta in real world who were about to get married next morning aegis thesis and hippolyta arrive in the forest in search of those four people those four young athenians they found all four sleeping in the forest they wake them up and demetrius confesses that he loves helena and not hermia anymore duke accepts their marriage and calls them to his palace for joint marriage here not only duke will get married but lysander hermia helena and demetrius as well on the other hand we find nick bottom who is awakened from the dream now he finds peter quins and he tells that he had seen a weird dream and he should keep it for his play and he should write it in a ballad and the name of the play should be bottom's dream then we find rest of the actors were in frantic situation because they did not find nick bottom yet who was the lead actor of the play now they were thinking that if duke 
will be pleased by their acting then he will issue lifetime pension for all the characters but here their main character was not to be found therefore they had become very sad when they saw nick arriving they became very happy and the play that they performed was not liked by hippolyta at all but duke praised it a lot because according to him nobody can give 100% to their job now here we find all the lovers of athens discusses their happenings thinking it was a dream but it was it had happened because of magic and because of the influence of another world this is unknown to them therefore the title is justified by this we completed our play we will meet in our next video thank you everyone